Hey guys, this is Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick unboxing and review for you of this Eco Wall Panel Heater. So this is like a piece of convection heater that's designed to mount on the wall, and uh, yeah, it's kind of like a radiator, but it uses electric, and um, it's gonna be interesting to see how you well this work. Uh, this is about 425 watt power. So it definitely um, requires a little bit of amount of energy, but they say it's a lot less than uh, just using your traditional system. This room in front of my house is uh, really close to the ground, so it's always very cool compared to the rest of the house. So we're gonna try it in this room and see how well that works. So let's just unbox this and see what comes inside. So here we have some mounting uh, bracket here to mount to the wall. We also have the user menu in there and a power cable here. And then that's the panel here. The panel is pretty big. So that's the panel right there. Uh, they say yes, it's a ceramic panel and you can actually paint that panel. Um, but you have to use like acrylic paint or something like that. But uh, yeah, you can definitely paint that to decorate it if you like to. This is a 2x2 panel, so it's quite a large panel. And it looks like it weighs about 15 20 pounds, so it's pretty heavy also. So after drilling the hole in the wall and installing the little hook, I go ahead and put the panel on and now I got it all hooked up here as you can see. So it comes with this little plastic piece and the plastic piece just cover the screw. So I left this one open here just to show you. But all we have to do is just uh, install this little plastic piece on top of the screw. And uh, that just kind of cover the, the, the screw and as you can see it looks pretty nice. It has a little label here do not uh, cover. So apparently the hole would not exactly swear. I thought it would uh, as far as distance wise. So uh, I measured them using a different direction. This direction here. I actually want the panel up there, the little button to be on the side, but because the way I have it, it actually exactly is not perfect. So I ended up putting the, uh, the button up top just like uh, the way I was measuring it. So uh, just measure it exactly the way that you want it to be because I intended to have the button at the bottom, but because they weren't exactly equal distance, I ended up having the button to be on top of that. There's a cable right there, some drywall stuff that I uh, been drilling out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run the cable and hide it and then we should be good to go. All right guys, I finished installing everything. As you can see there up top, at the corner there, there's a little light, that's where the switch is. So the switch can be turned on and off independently, but uh, what's nice about the switch is a hard switch, so when you turn it on, it's always on when it's plugged in. So what I did is I connect a Bluetooth um, plug right now, and that Bluetooth smart plug is able to, you know, do timing scale. And uh, using that plug, is a really nice way to keep track of energy and also keep track of the scale, so you can have nice scheduling. So I want to kind of show you guys the app real quick. Uh, this is a product I reviewed before, it's called Revolvi. As you can see here, I have my scale here. And if you go to energy, you can see the cost of energy, but I just started today, so it's not much going on. But right now, you can see, it's rated for about 400 watt, and as you can see here, it's, yes, definitely 400 watt of power being used right now. So you just plug it, it has a 1500 watt uh, maximum, but you can see there, it's pretty much gonna be at 400 watt the whole time. So uh, as far as uh, this panel here, uh, after you turn it on, it takes about 10 minutes or so, and it, it begins to get really warm. Uh, but at the same time, your room will begin to get warm as soon as you know the panel starting to get warm. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, it definitely works, and the panel would actually get kind of hot. So you gotta be careful if you have kids in the house. Kind of give you an idea here. I've got a little gun right here. So let me show you. Here's the gun, and I can gun down here for the floor, 60, 70 degree. Check this out. It's about 150, so it looked like 160. So guys, one thing I did find out about this panel is that it does not have a built-in thermometer. Uh, which means uh, it will stay on forever until you turn it off. So for me, I'm using this Revogi switch here and this switch provides me a way to uh, automatically turn it off at a certain interval. So I can have it running for a while, turn it off, or I can just do it based on some scale. Uh, this room gets kind of cold uh, sometime at night and uh, during the day, so I kind of have it running at an interval and that's able to uh, control by your switch right here. So yes, there's another version of this that has a built-in thermometer that you can pull out and adjust the uh, temperature, but this one does not have it. So if you want that, uh, you want to get that one. Uh, in my experience, leaving this running for over an hour, it's starting to get really hot and warm up the room. Uh, however, it seems to get really hot. Uh, they say it's supposed to stop at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but in my experience, it actually go about to 210 to 12, so it's actually get pretty hot. So if you touch it or you have a kid here touching it, you can actually burn their hands. So just be really careful. Uh, at first, my wall here is a dry wall. It actually, uh, you know, emits some smell. So I think the heat from the panel actually heat this up. And uh, you know, actually, kind of burn the wall, kind of give that smell off. But after a while, the paint smell and everything goes away after about two times using it, and uh, it was good after that. They also sell some kind of heat seal, or you can just buy a kind of heat seal blade that kind of just reflect the heat from the wall out here. So uh, you can also uh, look into those solution. But I think if you are interested in uh, buying something like this and you don't have the thermostat, you have the ability to install a switch like that. Maybe uh, one that has a thermometer in, which I saw them sell on 
uh, Amazon and you can use something like that to also control the temperature. So that's pretty much my quick review of this Zenly ceramic heater. I hope we helped you in your purchase decision. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.